Okay, just a quick demonstration on how a PositaP works. Um, PositaP looks like this, and there's two parts. So the first part you unscrew, and you can see that there's a slot here. Uh, that's where the wire goes that you're going to tap into. And there's a nice little sharp point here that's going to actually poke into that wire. So you take the wire that you're tapping into, you lay it across here. Uh, and there are different PositaP sizes, kind of small, medium, and large. This is a medium one. It's probably just a hair too big for this particular wire, but I'm going to use it anyway. So the wire basically just goes across that slot there. And you screw it back in. And... It becomes a little harder to screw and it's actually tapping an electrical connection in the wire and it's going to look like that when it's done. Uh, the rest of it is a positive twist end. This actually comes off and there's a metal connection in there and this part is hollow. Uh, so you take whatever wire that you're going to connect, you have to strip the end off a little bit you put the sleeve on here and the wire with the end goes in there and you hold it in there and then screw it together. I'm trying to catch the threads here. There we go. And then you screw that end in there and that's actually making an electrical connection for whatever wire that you're going to connect to this existing wire and give it a little tug make sure it's a snug fit and there you go so now i have the red wire uh, that you see in the picture here has been tapped into the existing yellow wire and the beauty of this kind of thing is that i do not have to cut this yellow wire to make a connection. Um, the other thing that's nice about the Positaps is they are reusable. You just have to unscrew the connection. That comes out. I can unscrew this and this comes out as well. Um, you can see there is now a hole in that wire. So if I remove a Positap, uh, I would want to tape that up a little bit just to make sure that uh, there's no electrical connection exposed. So that's how they work. All right, these are the posit taps uh, or tappets, depending on what you want to call them. Uh, I'm switching over to these from uh, the jam the pins into the connector thing. Uh, I wasn't happy about that. Uh, and also just in case this uh, connector that's down there actually needs to be used um i don't want to be blocking the pins uh so you can i'm going to try and light this up so you can see right there those two red things um those are the positive taps that are connected to uh one each of the black and white wires uh in the harness that should get us to talk to the can bus and i'm going to cut these pins off and just create um, some open cable, you know, about three eighths of an inch. Uh, and then I'm going to put the ends on there and that will connect the wires to the tapped connections that are there. Um, that I think is going to give me uh, a more solid electrical connection. Uh, and the harness, if it ever needs to be used by a dealer or something, uh, no longer will have the ends blocked uh, like I had before. And now you can see uh, the positive taps are completed. Uh, after they're tapped into that harness, um, then you just uh, strip the wires that go in there. You put them through the end cap and then you screw the end cap on and that taps that uh, that connects those new wires into the harness. And I tested the radio and that connection is working. So that's what the positive taps look like. That's how they function. Uh, they work pretty nice.